Miles of downed power lines, mounds of storm debris, and mangled acres of sugarcane are common sites across southeast Louisiana. For those sugarcane farmers not finished planting, crooked stalks will make the job more difficult. With grinding set to start later this month, harvesting twisted stalks will be a tall task. When those uh, harvesters get in the field, it's going to be harder to actually harvest the canes with the machines. You're going to have mud. Uh, the cane's not going to be standing straight up. So all of those are issues that affect uh, the farmers when it comes to harvest time. Castro was examining a field not far from where the Eye of Ida crossed in St. John the Baptist Parish. Ripeners are typically applied to sugar cane early in the harvest season to increase sugar content, but they may be less effective because of Ida. Some of the leaves are shredded, the tops are brown, and because of that, the ripener that, that they're spraying on the cane at this time before harvest might not take. Sugarcane is a resilient crop and it is already trying to straighten itself out from the storm, but this process comes with a price. It's a living thing, it's a plant, so it's going to use its energy to do that, and when it, that happens, then, then the yields, the sugar, there's less sugar, and that, therefore when you get to the mill, the yields are lower. While flooding from Ida was not as significant as the storms that hit Louisiana last year, some isolated areas may have lost their plant cane. They may have to replant again because some of that plant cane sat in water too long. Um, and then with all the rain, it's hard to get out in the field to continue the planting process right now. Damage estimates have about 25% of the state's 500,000 acres of sugarcane being affected by the storm. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.